welcome back to the channel guys hope you guys are having a merry christmas and hopefully you have a safe and happy new year if i don't get to talk to you before then but on today what i'm going to do is a quick video on how i feel about swapping over the coil overs versus the abc suspension so first the abc suspension we all know that it's a great suspension when it works it's a lot of comfort a lot of convenience with it, a lot of luxury with it. Absolutely no body roll with the car when you have the ABC suspension on versus when you put coilovers on the car. We all know this. There's been other videos made about it. My personal opinion, personally, I like having the coilovers on the car because it's like having a peace of mind. Yes, the ABC is good, but you can't be having coilovers on the car because for one, they're way more reliable than the ABC suspension. You don't have to have that thought in the back of your head worrying about whether you're gonna have a leak under your car, whether the car gonna be sitting on the ground, or is it gonna drop while you're driving it. With coilovers, you don't have to worry about that. You sacrifice some luxuries with the car, smooth ride and comfort. You won't have that with the coilovers. It'll still be smooth, it's not a rough ride, especially if you know how to set it. I chose to go with Yellow Speed Racing. Um, you could adjust the ride height how you want it. Dampening settings, you could adjust those how you want it. So it really comes down to if you know what you're doing when it comes to coilovers. It's a big difference when you switch. Now, a lot of people say you need sway bars and you know, it's not safe to drive without sway bars. To me personally, that's really a preference. It also depends on how you drive, how you handle the car. If you're gonna be out there racing, riding hard, swerving through traffic, taking it to the track, then yeah, you would need sway bars. If you're just a daily driver, you're cruising around, not driving crazy, then you don't need sway bars. That's just my personal opinion. Yes, it'll make the car more stable, you know, when you're hitting corners and all that good stuff, but it really is up to the person who buys the car, what they want to do with it. I'm not gonna lie, I do miss having the ABC suspension, um, being able to raise the car up and down when I go over speed bumps and stuff like that, but, you know, it's a luxury I could live without. Um, just to have that peace of mind, not having to worry about the suspension anymore. I mean, you can't beat that. The car performs pretty good without it. I haven't had any issues. I uh, haven't had any problems with the car. Yeah, that's just my take on it. I mean, you got people out there that die hard, purists that want to keep the car stock, want to keep it original. So I ain't knocking for that. But, um,. You got people like me that want to drive the car and not have to worry about being on the side of the road, so we switch over to coilovers. You have a lot of cool, different coilovers you can choose from. You don't have to choose yellow speed. Like I said, man, it's all to your preference, what you want to do with the car. There's so many options you have with this car. You can keep it classy, you can keep it sporty, you can do both. I know people that's like really going all out with it, put turbos on it and all kind of crazy stuff, which is cool. I love it. I love to see people do custom work with their cars. Like I said, man, it all depends on you. It's your car. You figure out what you want to do, how you want to handle it, how you want to ride it. That's basically all it is. The car is meant to be enjoyed. It's not meant to be sitting in a garage and not being used. This car is a driving car. This car is meant for the autobahn. Callovers, what I really love about the car, having callovers on the car, makes the car real sporty it gives it like more of a race car feel i don't know if you understand that but it's different driving it with coil it's like a totally different car you know mercedes is all about luxury smooth riding and quietness but putting coilovers on the car makes to me it makes you more engaged with the car it makes you more responsive with the car than the car being responsive for you, if that makes any sense. This is just my take. Now, would I do it again? Without a doubt. Like I said, man, you can't beat that peace of mind of not having to worry about your car every morning when you get up. 
and um, just put all those in the car, man. You just can't beat that reliability. Because as good as the ABC suspension is, it's just not reliable. Now, we could debate on this all day. But we all know it's true. I'm not knocking the suspension. It's a great suspension, a great piece of work that Mercedes came up with. But at the end of the day, it's just not reliable. And it's cost, it's not cost effective in my book. You can't beat the reliability with that, but there's, there's no mechanical parts that'll fail. You don't have to worry about high pressure hydraulic lines. You don't have to worry about old rings. You don't have to worry about accumulators and valve blocks and all this other stuff, tandem pumps. There's too many things that could go wrong when you overcomplicate something that's supposed to be simple. I understand why Mercedes did it, but at the same time, it's way over-engineered. This car is just fine on coilovers. Like, I don't have a problem. I wouldn't switch back to ABC, even though when I had it, I did love it, but I had to choose, I would definitely choose coil over suspension over the ABC suspension just because of the reliability factor and the cost. Because what I pay for my coilovers will probably be for maybe one or two, probably like two struts of the ABC suspension system. So it's like half the cost. Not, not even really that. Because when you add everything in, rebuilding this whole ABC system, you could spend anywhere between seven to $10,000 easy. Now, coilovers, I paid about $1,400, which isn't bad for suspension for Mercedes, in my opinion. It might be out of some people's budget, but something that you can save and it's very doable. Not a job, for the most part, it's pretty much easy plug and play almost it was just you know getting some of the fittings loose some of the lines loose um, getting that tandem pump out was a beast but other than that the job was pretty simple man i mean that was me racing the, the coilovers they fit right in with no issue i have no complaints so far about them there's no rattle no noise the car sits good Said, man, it's all up to you what you want to do with your car because I mean, at the end of the day, nobody paid for the car but you, so you do what you want to do. I'm not knocking nobody. <laughs> Call over suspension or ABC suspension. I choose the coil overs. Just look at it, it's sitting nice. I raise the front up a little bit, I have to raise the back up just a tad, but um. Yeah, other than that, that's it. She's good to go. No issues with her. Um, only other thing that I need to do. Let me get some light so you can see me. I um, found a fuse to get rid of the ABC light. The red ABC light on the dash. Just... Some people pull two different fuses out. For some reason, my car is not like that. Um, there's only one five amp fuse that I pull, and it got rid of the light. Put up another message on the dash. I'll show y'all that in another video, but it's better than that red light. So as of now, yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with coil overs because. ABC suspension's history. Oh, and another thing is the parts from the ABC suspension. When you take them off, the parts alone will pay for the suspension. A lot of people don't know that, but by the time you sell the tender pump, the valve blocks, the lines, the accumulators, the struts themselves, all these parts are worth a lot on eBay, Amazon, different sites you can sell these parts and pretty much get your money back for what you pay for the struts so that's another plus so you almost get the struts for free damn near yeah man that's it that's all i got for it is abc suspension bye bye going with the coilover so that's all i got for y'all
Hope y'all have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. Y'all stay safe. 